Dragons, I'm here today to do my first book haul of the whole year, which is really exciting. But it also means I'm going to have quite a few books to chat about. I am going to try to be as concise as I can be. I'm going to try not to expand too much because I don't want this to be like an hour long video. But I'm just going to tell you where I got it if I can remember and what was my motivation in picking it up. These books are in no particular order. The stack is the stack that I got the most recently. Oh no, the, this is the book stack I got in like January. So I got The Longest Autumn by Amy Avery. This was an Owl Crate book. Um, I haven't even taken it out of the cellophane yet. I normally try to keep them as pristine as I can until I read them because I would like to sell them on Tango when I'm done if I don't love them. I also picked up Queen of Blood by Sarah Beth Durst, another mass market paperback, which I don't really read a ton of, but I am excited to give it a shot. I have read by this author before, and I picked this up on Rec from Cassidy, what covers from Cassidy. If I can remember at the end, I'll try to link these creators below. I also picked up A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon, and I also got the other one, which is the second The Wooing of the Witch, but that is on my TBR card, and I'm just a little bit lazy to go get it, but it is here for the moment. I also picked up a copy of Brutal Plants by Sophie Lark. I got this because I wanted to read it for the romance month for February and I just didn't get around to it, but I have heard really, really good things. People say you really need to read this series before you read the, um, like the, the Academy series, but I'm struggling to make a dent in it, so we will see. I also got Juniper and Thorn by Ava Reed. I think four paws in a book really, really like this, and I tend to have similar opinions to her. Um, so, and it's also super short, so I was excited to pick this up. I also got Icebreaker, which if you <laughs> follow Brittany and that gang, they, this is the book that like tore apart her friendship, not really, but sort of, and I want to read it, so I'm excited. I've heard some mixed reports about this book, like from a lot of people, but I'm hopefully I will enjoy it. Um, and it has figure skating, which is one of my favorite sports. I also from Pango got Dark Shores by Danielle L. Jensen. I have read by her before. I read her other book and actually have another book in this haul from her. But this was just a C book and I was in the mood for C books when I picked this one up. So hopefully I get around to reading it soon. And then I picked up a copy of The Hacienda by Isabel Hakanas, which means I now have two copies because my coworker gave me back the other book, but it's okay. Um, I do want to read this. I just don't know when I'm going to get around to it. I also picked up this really pretty edition of Sanctuary of Shadow, mostly for the sprayed edges. It's so pretty. And I think, I don't even know what it has to do. I think it has to do with a circus, I think. So yeah, I want to read this and see what my thoughts are. I want to read a, I want to do a vlog where I read my pretty editions and see if I love them and get to keep them on my shelves. But we will see if I get around to doing that vlog. I also picked up a copy of The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. I also like the edges on this one, and I'm excited to dive into this one. Again, this was set on Valentine's Day, so this would have been a great Valentine's Day read, but that did not happen. So yeah, those are the books that I picked up in the first month of the year. Um, just they were on my book cart since then, and now I'm going to show you the books that I got after January, so let's get, let's get to that. Hi book dragons, I am back to do another clip in this video. So I'm going to show all the books that I got when I went shopping with my friends in the city. If you don't know, I'm from New York. I live on Long Island, but me and my friends, one's from New Jersey, one's well, Pennsylvania, and one's from upstate New York. So we meet up every once in a while and we book shop and we haven't seen each other since 2024 because I've been really, really sick and dealing with some like foot issues. So from Pango, I got The Blood Trials by Annie Davenport because Lexi recommended it. She said if you like YA books, you should pick it up. And I hear that and I have to pick some up. I also got the sequel, which is A Reckless Oath by Kaylee Smith. I think the first book was A Runa's Fate, and I remember really liking that one. So I hope to get to this one. And it is blue, so maybe we'll get red in March. We will see. And then I got um, ASAP by Axio. My friend actually bought this for me. Sarah bought this for me for Christmas. Um, and it is the sequel to XOXO, and I did like XOXO when I read it. I also got three mass market paperbacks. I got Age of Myth by Michael J. Sullivan, which everyone and their mother has been chatting about. A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin, which someone on my 
booktube newbie video recommended I pick this up because I like the HP series and the Goblin Emperor by Katherine Addison which I've heard really good things about a little bit slow moving very very character focused but hopefully I like it there's other books in this series that I have my eye on if you're interested in me doing like a mass market paperback reading vlog let me know because I don't ever read these types of books like this format is not what I normally read. I also, my friend sent me a copy of Nightbreaker by Coco Ma. It's an ARC, but she got it at Con and was, didn't think she was going to read it. I read Coco Ma's first book, Frost Shadowfall, I think, and I liked it and I want to read something a little bit different. And this is set in New York. So I'm intrigued. I think it has to do with like darkness, which I'm intrigued by. Um, I also picked up a copy of Green Wild by Pari Thomas. I think that this is a secret garden retelling. I think it is. If not, it just gives me vibes. And it does have an animal on the cover, so that intrigues me. I don't know if it's at its school, though, but I'm excited. Sometimes you just need a middle grade book. I also picked up a final finished copy of The Breakup Tour by Emily Weberly because I read this. Definitely my favorite book of theirs that I've ever read. Like, well, for the adult version and I wanted to put this on my shelf for a favorite read because it probably will make that list at the end of the year. I also picked up a well my friend actually bought me a copy of Our Cursed Love by Julie Abe which is her second YA book and it's set on New Year's Eve so I really do want to read this relatively soon. It's another quick one. It dub has a mostly blue cover. There's no animal on it but it will work for that. I don't think it's set at a school either so but it has to do with a magical apothecary, so I'm intrigued. Um, and then I did get my uh, fairy lutes. So if you don't want to see them, maybe skip ahead a couple minutes. But I got the Crimson Moth by Crystal Ciceri. Very, very pretty. This may get read because it literally is the perfect book for my team. And A Fate Inked in Blood, which may get read because it's the perfect book for my team. I don't know if either of these have a school setting, but they do have animals on the cover and they are mostly blue. So... Um, and I, and let me go double check if those are all the books that I bought recently, and then we're going to wrap up this book. And my friend Tiffany went to the Midwinter ALA. I was not able to go this year, but she did get me a couple of books that she knew I was interested in, so thank you so much, Tiffany. She got me The Enigma Girls by Candace Fleming, How Ten Teenagers Broke Cyphers, Kept Secrets, and Helped Win World War too. So this is like a non-fiction book, but I think it's like written as a, it's like a historical fiction. And I love books about code breakers. They're really, really fun. And this comes out in March. So I want to get around to reading it and then put it in my classroom because I think the kids will like it. I also got Playing for Keeps by Jennifer Dugan, which is her sapphic romance. Um, and this is a baseball picture and a student empire are definitely not supposed to ball for each other, which comes out, I think, in April. So we're getting closer to that release. I also got The Blood, Your Blood, My Bones by Kelly Andrew, A Girl Who Will Not Die, A Boy Who Cannot Love, A Twisted Destiny They Can't Exceed. Um, and I think this has deaf representation, so that's really, really exciting. I want to go back and read her other book. I just don't know where I put it. The Liar Society by Alison Greyer is another book that's really intriguing me and calling out to me. Again, I'm definitely going to put this in my classroom when I'm done with it. So, And The Poison We Drank by Bethany Baptiste is one that I literally was online for at ALA. And, no, not ALA, at Y'all Fast, and then they ran out of arcs. So when I knew that she could get this for me, I was like, yes, please, and thank you. So I want to read this. This cover is stunning, and I want to read it. I know I got pushed, and I was supposed to come out in March. I think it's actually coming out in April. But now that I have an arc, I'm really excited. It may just pop up in a book box, but I have it a little bit early. So yeah, that is my amazing book. That is my book haul. I always stuff like what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to not buy books until this stack is done so I can put stuff on my shelves. We will see how that all goes, but yeah, we will see. But let me know in the comments what was the most exciting book you got recently, and I will talk to you guys soon for another video. Bye.